Hello friends, this is Mahita. Welcome to Smart Education in Your Hands. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about how to prepare for UPSC CSE Mains Optional Electrical Engineering Paper 1. Okay, in this video, we will mainly focus on Paper 1. Uh, we will discuss about all the subjects in detail. Okay, in the next video, we will discuss about Paper 2. Okay. Let's start our video. Paper 1. Paper 1 contains 8 subjects. Remember 8 subjects. Whereas Paper 2 contains 6 subjects. So first Paper 1 is having circuit theory, signals and systems, EM theory, analog electronics, digital electronics, energy conservation, power electronics and electric drives and log communications. Okay. Now we will discuss about the strategy to prepare for the optional okay technical subjects are tough so you have to revise them in a daily basis and first step is to start your optional is know your syllabus completely okay whether you can by heart or anything or you can remember you have to know the syllabus completely okay and then start making short notes of every topic each and every topic you have to make the short notes and revise them daily and uh, don't forget to refer previous year questions because 50 percent of the upsc questions came from previous year questions only so solve at least 5 to 10 years paper with 100 percent accuracy okay and uh, the tips uh, Practice numericals on the daily basis. Calculators are allowed in the exam and use them while practicing also and avoid silly mistakes. Okay. Presentation is very important. Draw circuit diagrams and graphs with pencils. Okay. So that they look neat. And additionally, any mistakes can be erased and redone. Okay. Solve numericals in the same manner that they are solved in the standard textbooks with the side headings also okay solve them with neat handwriting okay have a separate sheet of uh, sheets for formula okay which will helps to revise quickly okay now we will start discussing about the subjects circuit theory the best book for circuit theory is abhijit chakrabarti the most important chapters in this book are basic network theorems graph theory and two port networks mostly the questions from this section are numericals okay sometimes 20 market questions involving theory and proof and with examples are also asked okay and uh, filters are not included in the syllabus so you don't have to study about the filters but ma mainly consider consider that or most important is network theories graph theory and two port network okay and next subject is signals and systems signals and systems you should refer to signals and system by ramesh babu for this section it is enough and the focus area should be laplace transform jet transform fourier analysis and also the basic signal representation please remember that Till now, UPSC exam, the topics like DFT and FFT have never been asked. So, you can skip them if you have less time. Okay. And the next topic is EM theory. The book to read for this section is Principles of Electromagnetic by Matthew Sadik. And the solved examples from this book are very important as many times the UPSC lifts questions directly from there. Even the exact numbers are used. Okay. For this section on transmission line, you can refer to electromagnetic theory by Bakshi. There are many solved examples that you should read. Okay. Focus on numericals from EM theory. The part on electrostatic and uh, magnetostatics are not there in the syllabus. Okay. Please refer syllabus before starting any subject. Okay. And the next subject is analog electronics. For this section, you should read analog electronics published by technical publications authored by Godse and Bakshi. Alternatively, you can use basic analog electronics by J.B. Gupta. 
in this section study as many solved examples as you can also practice derivations thoroughly okay uh, derivations are very important focus more on op amp study single stage amplifiers from bjt in depth okay single stage amplifiers are more important and uh, you can ignore multi stage amplifiers but if you have time don't ignore it okay biasing is very 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 important in this section okay and the next topic is digital electronics digital electronics is the best subject i love this subject very much and uh, digital electronics by godse and godse uh, it is the best book available for digital electronics okay it is a good source for theory as well as solved examples many questions are asked from pla and fgpa okay from this section a theory based 20 marker is mostly asked okay and uh, the next subject is energy conservation for this section the best book is electric machine by ashfaq hussein hussein sorry read it thoroughly and completely and uh, auto transformers have never been asked by upsc mm, do read three phase transformers focus more on dc motors and uh, practice problems on speed control flux control and voltage control practice curves of dc generators torque versus current equations should also be practiced okay focus on three phase induction motors special machines are not in the syllabus okay so see the syllabus and start your preparation and the next subject is power electronics and electric drives for this section you can refer power electronics by ps bimbra practice all the solved questions from this book as they are often directly asked by the upsc the four important chapters are choppers rectifier and uh, inverter and drives okay and the next topic is analog communication this would be a new topic for electrical engineering students as this is a part of electronics engineering the best source for solved examples for this topic would be modern digital and analog communication system by bp lati and an introduction to analog and digital communication by simon hakin and the theory part can be covered from communication system by sanjay sharma and important topics in this sections uh, are phase log loop pll of uh, fm demodulation questions from this section are asked repeatedly thanks for watching this video hope you have earned some knowledge about electrical engineering optional paper 1 thanks for watching and do share like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you